Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm sharing with you my latest subscription box, the creative kits that are a collaboration between myself and Norella of Calco Collage. I also have a Tattered Angels from Tattered Angels. All right, so this is going to be wild and free, and there's lots of goodies in this. So first off, you get a full bottle of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in a beautiful shade of a blue-green, a green-blue. You also get a whole bunch of goodies, and so I'm I'm trying to decide I think I'll get a tray to put these on or something I decided putting them on brown would be better so I've got a couple of pieces of cardstock here so I'm going to pull out all of these goodies there's so many things in here right off the bat I have included this time around a little bag that has all kinds of things in it and some of those things are little paper flowers you also get a bunch of little feathers and kind of a teal black color combo you get some flat back gems as well as some sequins and some beads and i tried to put those into this one bag and as you can see i'm already making a mess they're going everywhere i also have a separate baggie because i thought it might be easier to work with of the charms and some other embellishments that are in this kit so i'm gonna get a second and dump these out so you can see all of those I wanted you to have a wide variety of things so for example there is a dream catcher there are different feather charms this is like a little lotus charm there's a couple of horseshoe charms you also get a sun and you get this double ended butterfly here's another feather charm now they'll vary in the kits here's some peace symbols and another horseshoe charm i also included a uh, three or five no i got five five split rings or jump rings that you can twist apart and then you can jump ring your charms to the bottom of the uh, dream catcher here i also have some d-ring pieces that you can use for closures or to add some unusual elements to your journals i also have these photo turns and i added some uh, brads i was trying to find the words brads to hold those together i also included some head pins so for those of you that like to do a little bit of jewelry making you can load up a bunch of your beads onto this head pin and then bend the end and then attach that to the dream catcher if you like there's a couple of spiral paper clips in here and then i've also included a couple of these uh, bulb pins as well as these fleur-de-lis charms i had a few left over so i thought i would share those with you so all of these little goodies come packaged together in a little packet. I was trying to make it as neat as possible. So there's one little packet. Then you also get a yard of different fibers. So this one will be variegated. It's kind of a black, silver, white fiber eyelash trim. Here is a fluffy turquoise trim. This purple has a little bit of a metallic in it. And I thought that would be kind of fun. Here's a fluffy green that I thought matched the kit. I had this blue sequin and I thought that would be fun. Then there's this pale variegated pink. So it has different shades of pink in it. You also get this fluffy kind of an orangey coral color. This is a multicolor, so it's got different shades of brown with a little bit of pink flucked into it. And then this is a kind of a 
off-white, not quite bright white, little fuzzy. You also get random. So this time I have no idea how much will be in there, but approximately a yard. You may get a braided trim. You may get a beaded trim. It just varies. I had this hodgepodge of trims that I couldn't really figure out what I was going to do with it. So I just split it up and everybody gets something random. So yours may be green. It may be purple. It doesn't, I don't know. You'll get a different one in each one. You will get a yard of this little fun fabric trim that you can use as well. So that's one part of the goodies. So I'll set that aside for a moment. And then I've made a bunch of paper items that I've put together. So you'll get a piece of black cardstock, a couple of, I think these are called A2 or A4. They're designed for a five and a half by four and a quarter greeting card to go inside. So you'll get a couple of those envelopes. You'll get six mini file folders. There's three different styles. Basically, there's a left hand tab a middle tab and a right hand tab and you can fold those in half if you so choose. I'm leaving them flat in case you want to use them as a stand-up journal card. I've shown tutorials on doing that. You'll get four pieces of this textured paper. Robin doesn't like it. We know that. But your guys are going to get it and you can do something with it. You'll get a couple of these four by four watercolor type paper of white and you'll get four in the craft color. You also get four in the artist trading card side. You'll get a string of tickets that you can use that are folded in half so you can unfold those. I try to put it all in the packaging so it all fits together. You'll get a couple of paper doilies and you'll get a couple of these paper, mini paper bags that you can put things in. And then I still had some of these left over from the garden tea journal. So I thought I would give you a tea bag that you can use. You'll also get a set and I can't remember if it's how many pieces it is, but let me move this aside. So I made these chipboard pieces because I thought it would be fun to have them in the kit. So this one here is a frame and it is a stencil design that I drew and then I made a frame. Henry said it takes 15 minutes for these to cut out. So y'all are getting a lot out of this because usually 15 minutes on a laser costs a lot of money. So I made those two frames and then inside the frames I put a couple of feathers. So you'll get this piece as well. And then you get the feathers, I may have the wrong one, but you get the feathers that fit in there as well. And then you get a mandala that I thought would be kind of fun that you could kind of, in theory, turn this into a dream catcher because you could tie some fibers and hang these feathers off the bottom if you so choose. So that was my thinking, and this is one that I drew. Then you get the word Wonderlust that I thought would be great with this kit. Here is another feather. I think it still has the piece in the middle. There's another feather. I thought a moon, a decorative moon, would be kind of pretty. You also get a butterfly that you can use in your journal. And then this is a fancy arrow, so it has some neat patterning on it. And I didn't have a lot of room, but I had a small amount of room because I used an eight and a half by 11 sheet of chipboard. So I made these tiny little groupings of gems into a chipboard piece that I thought would be kind of fun. And then I thought, well, this little star kind of reminds me of wild and free and I thought that would be kind of fun as well. So you get all of those shipboard pieces in the subscription box, Wild and Free. So I'm going to set that aside. Then you get a grouping of papers that I have put together. So let me get that 
stack ready to go. You get a popcorn bag. I had a bunch of these left over, so I thought they'd be kind of fun. You know, you can fold them up, you can cover them with other paper, just something fun. You'll get a random piece of cardstock that's six by six. It could be a packaging piece. It could be printed on one side, but you always have the other side that you can use. Then you get a grouping of paper. So these are a mix. Some of them are going to be uh, gardening books. Like this one is about gardening. Because I thought wild and free, we're kind of hippie-like and we like plants. And then you'll get some music pages as well. So there's a music page. This is out of a dictionary. So you get several sheets out of a dictionary. You'll get some hymnal pages. So this was a shorter, uh, smaller journal of music. So I don't know how many she put in here. There's a bunch of different ones. Some random pieces in the back. Another set of dictionary papers. In fact, I think I've not even got all of them. There's three of those. Some more sheet music out of a song book that had big pages. They'll be random. So there may be words on some of them. There may just be the music on some of them. And then here is some more larger dictionary pages. You'll also get a large, I think this is like a five by seven, maybe even bigger, five and a half by almost nine inches of an envelope. And it's self-sealed, so you can choose to remove that seal and seal it shut. You can stick something over it, whatever you choose. This is an 8x8 piece of ledger paper that's on cardstock. I decided that I would give you one transparency sheet. So you get one sheet of transparency, a full 8.5 by 11. Now this is not a printer kind. You do not put this in your printer. This is a write-on transparency. So I'm disclaimer now and I'll put that in the description. I thought it might be kind of fun for y'all because I had a few of these sheets left of some perforated paper. So this paper has perforations so that you can fold it in half, fold it in half again, and it'll make eight different pieces. I know it's hard to see on video, but this is perforated paper. Then I had this bright purple paper, and I think I got a bright pink as well. And then you'll get two or three sheets. Yeah, three sheets of a pretty shade of blue that I felt matched the kit. A full sheet, or two sheets, of this pale pink. And these are all what I call copy weight paper. You'll get two really heavy sheets of card stock. So this is like 100 pound, 80 pound, 100, maybe somewhere around 100 pound card stock. But wait, we're not done yet. And you'll also get, you won't get this label, but you'll also get two stencils. So I'll show them on the cardstock that go with the kit. These are designs that I hand drew. They'll be eight and a half by 11 in size and you get three different patterns. So you get a full sheet, this pattern, and a half sheet with this pattern. And I even had my nails done and she made the pattern that's in the stencil here. It may be hard to see, but if you kind of look at it, you'll see this pattern is on my nails. So you get those in this kit. And then you get the, the printed portion. Now, the printed portion that I'm showing you can get is the virtual subscription. So when I show you these patterns, you can also get these as a digital download. So you get them printed in the kit. Here is the cover, and I am working on getting a printed fabric that you can then use to make a Midori cover. So that'll also be an option. On this side is the pattern that Norella chose. Again, this is a design that I drew, and then she put it into the digital portion of the kit. I chose what I called wild and free and maybe a little bit native and hippie with the 
different colors and patterns. So you'll see a skull, you'll see butterflies, you'll see an arrow. So we've got some roses. Occasionally you'll see a gem in the background here. On this side you'll see the gems and then a little floral pattern in the background. And I love the way that she's layered these images. You'll get journal pages that go with the journal. I believe it's four journal pages. Yes, four two-sided journal pages. These will be printed on quality uh, on a laser printer. The cover will be about a hundred pound cover on laser printing. Here's the back side. And then here's the next journal page. These images, you'll see some flower images, photographs. Those are photos that I took of flowers from my garden. And Norella used those in the kit. And again, here's more of my pattern that I drew. Another pattern that I offer in my shop. I believe that is called uh, vining flowers. Flower and vines, maybe. And then here is another page and then journal lines on the back. And then there are four fussy cut element pages. I asked Norella to make a different type of envelope. So these little flaps on the side would fold in, then you would glue here and here and fold this up. And then there's the flap or opening for your envelope. And then this card will fit inside that envelope. You just fold it in half. So there's some arrows and of course the always, the uh, word search that Norella creates is always in the kit. And then here's a larger envelope with a couple of journal cards. Again, some of the flowers that I took photos of and then some images that Norella chose. Another one of the patterns that I drew is on this pocket piece here. This is one of the rubber stamps that I offer of a mushroom that's in my shop and Norella used the image in the kit because I thought it would be kind of cute. And I love the words free spirit, flower child, wonderless, uh, go with the flowers, wild child, love and peace. And then this is a blown up image that I offer in my shop. And then here are some elements here. Well, that is the subscription box that you get. And I think it's like over 150 pieces. You get lots of goodies in this kit, including the Tattered Angels and the Charms. All right, so I'm going to clean off my desk and then I'll show you the other optional kits that you can get along with your subscription box. An optional kit that you can add, you can add it as a physical kit and or as a digital kit, depending on how you have your subscription set up. You can choose to get everything wild and free. That's an option as well. So this is the large journal kit. It has two journal covers that are two-sided and it has eight two-sided journal pages. And then it has six one-sided elements that you can use in the kit or to make your own journal. So here is the first cover. Let me get my stuff out of the way. That's in the kit. So it's very similar to the subscription box cover. And then here's the pattern on the back. So this beautiful bright orange with a cream background. Here is the second cover. Again, these will be on 100 pound cardstock. They'll be laser printed and will have both sides printed. Then the cop, the, uh, Journal pages will be on, I think it's called 32 pound text weight paper. And I love the little faux stitches and then the butterflies peeking out in the background here. The gems and butterflies and the ABC, again, the butterflies peeking out. Now these may not be printed exactly the same as the subscription box. I just printed those in the order that I thought they might be because they haven't been finalized just yet but these are generally the designs that we're going to see in the subscription box. I love this all over pattern of mandalas that Norella created. And again, this is another one of my patterns that I drew in the background. I love the flowers and the butterflies and the moths that Norella used. Some more of my images that I took and then she turned into elements in the kit journaling space. I didn't realize this one before. It has a faint text in the background. 
That's interesting. I never noticed that one before. Oh, this is an upside down. Another one of the prints. And then it's the journey, not the destination is what it says here. Now, generally you would fold these pages in half, but you can also use these to collage with and create your own uh, elements out of those. They come as eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. And there's the patterns. And then here is some of the elements. So you can fussy cut this out and make a pocket. These will be tabs that you can use on your journal pages. I've got some more journaling cards and little flags. Norella added a lot of tickets, another one of the flowers that's from my garden. And then we've got these types of tickets and tags. I asked her to put smaller envelopes because everybody wanted envelope templates, but I didn't want the whole page just to be one envelope. So I said, shrink them. So she shrunk those up a little bit because I thought that would be fun for the option. Now this is a layered pocket. So this will be your foundation. Then you would take this piece and fold these edges in and layer it on top of that piece. And optionally, if you want to, you could take this piece, fold the edges and layer it on top of this one. And when you put this in your journal, you could make this a large belly band so you can slide something behind this piece. So you've got all these layers that you can use. And then she's included a couple of corner pockets and some circle elements and, of course, a large word search. So that is the large journal kit. The planner kit is another optional kit that you can get. You can get it as printed or as a digital. When you add this to a subscription box, you get a discount. If you buy these a la carte individually, you don't get the discount. That's just a caveat that I thought I'd tell you. The planner kit comes with one journal cover, six double-sided planner pages, and two element sheets. Here is the cover. That is double-sided. By the way, the 17th, that's my birthday. So Norella kind of uses little, what we call Easter eggs. Every once in a while, you'll see things in a kit and they'll have a significance. And that's one of them. The beautiful mandala kit on the backside or the mandala images. Full month page. And here's one of the journal pages on the back. Here you get the week. You get some journaling area. That's a different page on the back. And then the rest of these will just alternate back and forth. Lots of beautiful images. Again, one from the uh, flowers from my garden. Using my stencil designs that I hand drew. Again here as well. I love these moths that she's included as well. And then the fussy cut elements, this is a pocket. You get four tabs and then a couple of images you can use as well as a, uh, what do we call that, tag and some flags. And then some journaling, oh, heard me, journaling cards as well. So that is another optional add-on that you can get. Another add-on that you can get is the printed version of the miniature. I've printed mine from the digital file. So when you get your printed version, it's actually this size up here, already cut, ready to go. And it has two covers. So when you do the digital, you get two up this way, and that'll be the backside. It mirrors the large journal kit. So it'll be the same image that's in the large journal kit, just printed on smaller, a scale so that you can make a mini. You get two, no, you get four two-sided journal pages that go with the covers. So these are the images that are part of the mini kit. And then you get two fussy cut element pages with the mini kit. And I went ahead and printed extra so that I could have these ready when I start to cut these up. That is an optional add-on, and if you order all of the digital and all of the printed, you get the digital version of this for free. 
Then the last thing, which is new this time around, is a paper pack. I found that I enjoy having patterned papers that match whatever I'm working on. And I do make my own whenever I do gel printing or use the stencils. But I also wanted some of the things that Norella made, but that wouldn't have the restrictions of being a page per se that you would use in a journal. You could use this as fussy cut and folding and making envelopes or journal cards or whatever. So there's a paper pack that you get eight different patterns all packaged together. This will be available as a digital download and as a physical printed kit. It will be printed on the text weight paper again. They'll be single sided so you don't feel like you have to choose which side to use when you want to use it in a project. And this are the patterns. So this is a brown kind of patterning. This really wild marbled colors this green with the flowers. You get the full sheet of the butterfly moths that Norella used in the kit. This is a flower, kind of the progression of what it looks like they were drawing it out. This page has all the mandalas and feathers. And then this is one of my stencil designs that I hand drew. And then this is mandalas on top of that marbled paper. So you get all of those in this little paper pack. Another option that you can add on are the set of six Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists. This is the only chance that you get a discount on a large grouping of these. And I pick out colors that I feel match the kit. They may vary from the photographs and when I use the demo because I order a sample set and then when I order the final production, they make them fresh for me. So they may be altered just a little bit in color, but you'll get the the gist of the color schemes. You'll get what is called wild coral, wild purple, wild pink, wild vanilla, wild spice, and wild blue. And again, I just picked colors that I felt kind of blended with the kit. And that is an optional kit that you can add on. Now I have some companion items in my shop which means you can order these at any time. You don't have to get a subscription. These will just be available in my shop at any time if you want to order them. And these are stencil designs that I created. So I'll kind of show you. That was the Wild Stencil 1. And I've hand drew all of these. This is Wild Stencil 2. So I made a little file folder out of scraps of paper to store these. We have Wild Stencil 3, and that's what it looks like. This is the Flowers and Vines stencil that was used in the kit several times, so that's what it looks like. And this is called Wild Stencil 4, and it's got little flowers and hearts in it. So those are available in my shop as well. And another thing that I do is I try to add rubber stamps to my shop that go with the kit somewhat. So this is just a sample of some of the wild and free images that you can get. I like, for example, I love the henna rose. It's one of my favorites already. I love the cow skull outline and I've already made a little something with the feathered arrow. I hadn't gotten the kit yet, so I had already been playing with some of the pieces. This was an envelope that I was playing around with and used the rubber stamps on. So those are also available in my shop. This will launch on February the 21st. I'm going to be a little bit earlier than I had said that I was going to be. They will ship out March the 15th. So if you made it all the way to the end, March the 15th is when the subscription boxes will ship out. Yes, it's a little bit late this year because I'm celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary during the time that I would usually launch a kit. So we're a month out from the normal time frame. 
what else? Yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing the flip through of this. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, that especially if you think they might enjoy this particular line of artwork and rubber stamps and stencils and tattered angels and the creative kits. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Thank you so very much. Hey, if you have questions or comments, use that comment box down below. It helps me out if you leave me some comments of what you thought about this kit. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I know I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Bye.